In this video, you will go through the StackUp Quick Start. This will use example scripts to create a smart contract account and send transactions. You can access the Quick Start Guide by going to stackup.sh and clicking Start Now, or alternatively, you can go to docs.stackup.sh, and when you click Get Started, it will take you to the Quick Start Guide. I'll move this over here to the left so that I can see my terminal. The first thing you need to do is to uh, clone the repo. Go ahead and do that. I will then cd or change the directory to that new directory and then type yarn install to install the dependencies. I will then run the third step which is to run yarn run init. This will create a configuration file, config.json. Let's open it. You can see here that we have some presets. We will need to change the bundler URL uh, to a different location. Uh, this assumes that you are running a bundler locally, but instead I'm going to run one using StackUp's web interface. So I will go to app.stackup.sh, which you can click here at the bottom of this step, once you create an account and log in, you will then be able to create an instance of a bundler. In this case, uh, I'll stick with the defaults for Polygon Mumbai. And please note at this point, if you have not yet already signed up for a free trial, uh, you will need to do that right now by going to Settings uh, and signing up for a free trial. I already have on my account, so there's no need to uh, go through it. I will then copy the URL of this instance by just clicking copy here. Replace the default URL here with that new URL. And save the file. And that's it. So now I have my local configuration set up and so I can start creating smart contract accounts and sending transactions. I'll go ahead and create an account using yarn run simple account colon address. This will return the address of the smart contract account. This smart contract account actually isn't yet deployed onto the network. Um, it will only be deployed when the first transaction is made. So. I will need to fund this account in order to do a transaction. So I will go to uh, faucet.polygon.technology where I will send myself some Matic tokens. Confirm. And I will also send myself some ERC20 tokens. All right, despite a little bit of a buggy interface there, I think it went through. I can go ahead and check my uh, check that my account has received tokens by going to mumbai.polygonscan.com, pasting in the address, and I can see there that I have 0.2 Matic. If I click on ERC20 token transactions, I should see if any ERC20 tokens have been received which it looks like despite the buggy interface before, I've received two dummy ERC20 tokens. Great, so now that my account is uh, funded, uh, I can go ahead and do a transfer. In order to do a transfer, all I need to do is type yarn run simple account colon transfer. The first argument is going to be the uh, recipient address. I'm just going to send it back to myself. You could also send it to you know, any other wallet that you create or account that you create. Uh, and I'm going to send myself, let's say, 0.1 Matic. So when I press return, uh, a user operation will be created. The user operation is a pseudo transaction object that is used to uh, send meta transactions to, uh, to the bundler. Great. 
and it looks like that transaction went through. So that's pretty much it. There are also some other commands that we've included here, such as transferring ERC20 tokens, batch transfers, so that you can send to multiple addresses at once. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a transfer of an ERC20 token. So if I click this, you'll go into the more detailed documentation. Um, all you really need to know is that the command for that is yarn run simple account colon ERC20 transfer. The first argument is going to be the address of the ERC20 token. So I'm going to go grab that here from Polygon Mumbai, uh, from Polygon Scan. So I will paste the contract address. I will then go ahead and copy back uh, my own address and we'll send it to myself. And I have two of these ERC20 tokens, so I'll send myself one. Again, press return. It says I'm transferring one uh, dummy ERC20 token. You see the user operation there and the transaction hash. Additionally, you can send uh, batch transactions. So I will uh, do a batch transfer of um, of Matic. So in order to do that, I will type in yarn run simple account colon batch transfer. And the first argument is going to be a list of uh, addresses to transfer to. In this case, I'm going to send it to myself twice. Please note that this is a comma delimited list, but there should be no spaces. Uh, I will then input the amount, in this case 0 0.05. Matic is what I will send. Press return. Again, you see a user operation. You wait for the transaction to go through. And there's the transaction hash. Additionally, I can do the exact same thing, but with ERC20 tokens, by running yarn run simple account colon batch ERC20 transfer. The first argument is in the uh, ERC20 token address, which I will go ahead and go back to Polygon Scan to copy the address, paste it in. And just like I did in the Matic transfer example, I will create a list that will just be my own address twice. And then after that, the third argument will be the amount that I want to send. So in this case, I'll just send uh, half an ERC20 token twice to myself. Press return. Again, we see a user operation. And when it is submitted, you will see your console return. There we go, a transaction hash. So it'll take a moment for, the, uh, for your block explorer to show those transactions, but you can go ahead, go back to Polygon Scan and click refresh a bunch of times to see when your transactions have gone through. So you can see here, the transaction of sending myself one ERC20 token has gone through. Uh, so have the transactions to send myself batched Matic. So this is myself sending myself 0 0.05 Matic twice at the same time. You can see here, this occurred all in the same block. If you refresh this, hopefully we will see the batched. There we go. And then here is the batched uh, ERC20 token transaction. Again, you can see here uh, with these transaction hashes that these happened at the, in the same block. Anyway, thank you very much for going through this quick start guide. If you've got any questions, uh, please reach out to us in our Discord or contact the founders at founders at stackup.sh.